support your libraries. One, two, three, support your libraries. One, two, three, support your libraries. One, two, three, support your libraries. It's particularly a sad commentary when you realize that every study that you verifies the positive correlation between a comprehensive, fully functioning, well-resourced, fully staffed school library and the rate of achievement for the children in our school. So I have to do the skill act and I want to thank all the proponents, ALA, uh, and the, the, I have an in-house lobby. My, my uh, fine son-in-law is a li librarian. My daughter's a librarian. Yes. My wife's a librarian. We're here to unveil the Strengthening Kids' Interest in Learning in Libraries, the Skills Act. The Skills Act reauthorizes and strengthens the Improving Literacy Through School Libraries program for the No Child Left Behind Act. The basic premise of what we're doing here is based on a simple fact that school libraries are a critical component of a child's education. In fact, one would uh, argue, at least I would, that if you can teach a child to use a library, developing that child the love of that library, you pretty much educated that child because 30 or 40 years from now, they can find the library, they can find the answer. Yes. The Skill Act underscores the value, particularly of school libraries, by encouraging the hiring and retention of highly qualified school library media specialists in our nation's school library. Thank you all for being here on a very hot, humid, sticky, <laughs> typical Washington day. Uh, next year we'll do this in April. <laughs> if you know it'll be around, you'll be walking around the mall. <laughs> At least you're here today. We're going to work very hard with Senator Cochran and all of my colleagues in the House to get this legislation passed. Thanks particularly, I guess, to Cleveland. Cause they drove. Who drove all the way out from Cleveland on the bus? Oh, we did. Oh. <laughs> I think we're, 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 we're very proud to have this bookmobile, the People's University on Wheels, which makes it very convenient and timely and equitable for everyone in our community. It goes to the neighborhoods. About 6% six, six of the uh, visits uh, are to senior service centers. It's connected. It has, it's connected to the internet. It's connected to our main library system and automation system. It has adaptable technology for people. And so we feel it's a great additional library service to our community and the book and build in an inner city in an urban area is needed it provides visibility provides connection and connects to the people it comes out of the buildings comes out of the middle it's so used to being inside buildings but it comes out of the buildings and to go where the people are we submitted a proposal highlighting um, our especially our motto preserving the past exploring the future so we're here to share how Birmingham is it's doing that through technology people seem to be drawn especially to the children's services because they can relate to the programming that we've got going on with animals in the library um, with story times missing authors one of the main messages we're talking about today is uh, the heritage health index which is a survey that we did in uh, 2005 2006 trying to assess the state of America's collections. Um, do they have policies for disaster preparedness? Do they have environmental controls in their buildings? Fire safety, that type of thing. Um, and as you might know, uh, some of the institutions uh, were taking a look and sort of found wanting as far as these policies. So we've been trying to get information out about how to build your own disaster plan, what to do in the first 48 hours after a disaster happens. With three little girls, you know there's nothing more valuable than having them read. So the more you read, the more they'll read. Now I've got three avid readers. I've got one young girl, 14 years of age, who devours a book in a day and she's ready for the next one. And to me, that's the way they learn. They are going to be great citizens because they've learned how to pick up a book and enjoy themselves. One of the biggest uh, you know, reasons for anyone being successful is how much that person reads. And if I, we can give any advice to any young person uh, is to read and read and read some more.